This hose comes from tap water and you're going to connect it right here to the pre-filter. This hose goes from where the clean water comes direct to your pole. You're going to connect that right at the end. This is your concentrate hose. As you can see I've already attached it for you and this is where the concentrate is going to go back out. When the machines are shipped, they're shipped in conservation mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to turn this valve on allowing the water to go through your pre-filter. It's going to come up through this hose and this part is very important. This has to be connected because the conservation fluid is not allowed to go through the resin filter. After that, it's going to go through and you need to turn on your pure water side, which the hose is connected to go to your hole. So after your system has been cleaned for 30 minutes, you can now attach the polishing filter on. To do this, you want to turn this valve off, leave this valve on, and then you can take apart this connection. The right hose connects to the right side. The left hose connects to the left side. And now your polishing filter is in the system. So now you want to get started. You're going to turn on this valve and then connect to the electrical socket. Air vent. So now In order for the TDS meter to work properly, you have to press down on this air vent and release all the air that's inside. Now it's good, and your TDS meter will function properly. From the tap, through the valve, into the, the pre-filter. From the pre-filter, it goes through here, and you can see the pressure gauge. And the water is then gonna travel down this hose into the pump. And it's gonna go inside the membrane. So at the top, there's another water pressure meter. Ideally, you want that to be between eight and 10 bar. Come if out. One is the concentrate that goes direct to the backside. The second goes directly into the pump to be recirculated into the system. And the third is your clean water that's now coming out of the membrane and traveling up. So the water now coming into the resin filter is 98% into the automatic pump control, which is then gonna come out through this output to your water-fed hose. The automatic pump control, all you have to do is push this red button for a restart. Now we're gonna change the pre-filter. First, Take it off easily with your hand. Now we take out the filter that you want to change, take the water, throw it out. Once you have your new filter, you're just going to put it inside the canister and screw it back onto the system. Get it nice and snug and tighten. It is recommended that when you have a dirty filter to have it changed on a regular basis. The only difference between the RO30G and the RO30C is the pre-filter. If you have chlorine in your water, you're going to want to choose the RO30C. Put it on the filter and twist. Grab your filter 
out of the container. Now you take your new filter, put it in the bucket. And screw it back onto your system. Use the key once again to get it nice and tight. And then you're ready. If you happen to have bought the RO30C, but you're going to a place that doesn't have any chlorine in the water, then you can also buy this filter. This is just your normal filter and put that in uh, replacement of your carbon filter. Now we're going to change the resin filter. Usually, if you look at your TDS meter and the in and out PPM is the exact same, that's usually a good sign. Unscrew this piece. If it's a little too tight, you can use a wrench in the back. And loosen the filter. Be careful because this is usually going to be filled with water. So now you're going to empty out the water from the canister. And take out your filter. Now there's two options. You can either buy a new filter from Unger and switch out completely or if you unscrew this cap you can take that resin and pour it back inside the canister put the top back on and tighten it down now, we're going to put this back in to the container. Make sure that your seal is facing the top. Screw the container back in in front. And you're going to screw screw back on to make sure that the strap is good and tight. Now you're ready to go. Now we're going to put the system into conservation mode. What we're going to do is unscrew these two hoses, take the double-sided threaded piece that you got when the uh, part when the system was delivered and screw them together. What this does is it makes the water that you're about to put in not go over the hearts the resin filter which can damage it. We're going to take off our filter. Put your key on. Now we're going to put this tube with the holes at the bottom in the base. Take your preservation liquid and pour it inside. Carefully screw this back onto the system. Tighten it, attach it to the system, and turn the system on. You're going to let this run until out of the concentrate tube, all the green liquid, or some of the green liquid comes out. Once that is, turn the tap water off, and now you're ready.